Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be opening 5,000 of these Fated Fortune cards and I will show you what I've been able to get and how much gold I've made or how much gold I've lost in total. So for those of you who are not really familiar with these different cards, basically these are items that you can craft with inscription from Dragonflight and each time you use one of these cards, as you can see, you will receive one of these soulbound fated fortune cards that you can then sell to the vendor. Basically, you will most of the time get some of these wild quality cards that, as you can see, can have a value from 1 to 10 gold. And then sometimes, if you're lucky, you will get some green cards, some blue cards, and finally some epic cards. And the most like expensive card is 25,000. You can also get some of these recipes for the fated fortune cookies that are honestly really interesting so as you can see you can get plenty of things but as you can imagine most of the time you will only get this type of uh, white quality cards that are not really worth anything but still this is a fun thing to do in in wow and something i wanted to do for today's video so one quick tip first of all if you want to like open all these different cards is to use this add-on right here it's called scrap and basically it will allow you to like put as you can see like all these different cards on the junk and then you just want to click on that and you will automatically be able to sell all the different cards that you have in your inventory you can do that with any type of items like that you won't have to go through all your different inventories and sell all the different cards because as you can imagine you will have to sell a lot of these cards also if you want to actually craft these different cards with one of your characters that, that has inscription what you want to do is first of all try to have a pretty good level to make it profitable and then if you can try to put as much points and try to have as much multi-craft as possible because you will be able to get way more cards like that and finally as these cards are taking a long time to craft what i would recommend you to do is to use this uh, fial of quick ends that will increase your like speed of 30 percent when you craft things from dragonflight so like that you will be able to do it but for today's video i tried to do that and it just took way too long so i decided to instead buy all these cards and so i bought these 5,000 cards for 150,000 gold in total so now with all of that said let's jump into it and let's see how much good items i've been able to get by opening 5,000 cards
Okay, so in total, as you can see, I've been able to make just by selling the green and the white quality cards 17,800 gold in raw gold. And then when it comes to the rest, I got in total 7 and 5 and 4, so 11 of these fated fortune cards, the blue ones worth 100 gold. I got one of the blue cards worth 500 gold, and then four of the epic cards worth 2,500 gold. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of the cards that are worth 25,000 gold. I also got 51 cards that were green, but I had to sell them because it was just taking too much space. And then finally, I got 94 of the recipes for the fated fortune cookies. So as you can see, I'm going to sell all these over cards to see exactly how much I was able to get in raw gold with all these different uh, cards. So as you can see, let's just sell all of these. And normally I'm going to be able to gain a little bit more, but as you can see, we're still very, very far from the 150,000 gold I invested in these different cards. So only 30,000 gold that I got back from all the different cards that I sold. But then what's interesting is the recipe for the Fated Fortune Cookie. So these recipes, I've been talking about them for a long period of time, and they're a really good item to have up on the auction house. So as you can see, on average, for the European region, they sell for like 4,000 gold, and they have a really good sell rate, 0 0.8, which means that you will be able to sell a lot very, very fast. And as you are so on many realms, as you can see, you can actually sell them for way more. So for instance, on this realm, I sold 24 of them for on average 12,000 gold, and two days ago, I actually sold one for 33,000 gold. And on many realms, whether it's high pop or low pops, I've been able to sell some of these for up to 45,000 gold each. But most of the time, it's between five to 10,000 gold, which is still really, really good. So for instance, here, as you can see, if I decide to sell all of them for the current price on my realm, it's going to be 30, like so 3 million gold. But of course, if I put them for only 4,000 gold, it's still 376,000 gold. So it means that if really I was able to sell all these different recipes, I would get a lot of money just by opening all these different cards. But as you can imagine, on the low pop realm, it's going to take quite a lot of time to actually sell all of these. So what I would recommend you to do is, first of all, if you really want to make a lot of gold uh, just by you know flipping items, probably these cards are not the best way. But what I would always encourage you to do is on any realms where you see that the value is more than four or 5,000 for the recipes, just go on the auction house and just try to buy maybe 100 or 200 of these cards. And then like that, you will be able to flip the card. And at some point, hopefully, you will be able to get uh, like one or maybe more of these different recipes. And then you can sell them for a profit. And then you can do that again and again. I don't think it's really worth buying, like for instance, 10,000 at the same time, especially not on the same realm, because as you can see, you'll just end up with a lot of these recipes that will take a lot of time to sell. But if you can, if you're paying on multiple realms, just try to have one up on each auction house, of course, if the value of the recipe is good enough. And like that, trust me, you will be able to make quite a lot of gold. Also, keep in mind that sometimes when you are opening these 100 or 200 uh, cards, you will be like lucky and you might end up getting, for instance, a 25,000 card. This is what happened, as you can see, when I was doing it on another realm. And what's good is that I got this card for 25,000 gold when I just spent 2,000 gold buying 100 of these cards. And then two days later, I sold one of the recipes for 20,000 gold. So overall, really, really good. Of course, this is really lucky. So just keep in mind that the recipes are a good item to have up on the auction house on most realms. And so this is still a good way to make some gold and it will remain relevant probably until the end of Dragonflight. So always keep an eye on the recipe. Sometimes try to maybe buy a few of these fated fortune cards and like that you might end up making some gold. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed and I will try next time to open 10,000 of these cards uh, even though it's going to take probably like three or four hours to open all of them. But still, really happy I made this video. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great day. Bye.